Right, in today's video we're going to be deciding which is best, belt driven electric skateboards or hub motor electric skateboards. And I've got a special helper to do it, birthday boy, my son Leo. In you come mate. Which one of these are you going to choose? Choose your weapon. Easily this one. <laughs> Let's go. He's like a kid with a new toy. Little does he know, he's about to get a new toy. Uh, right, so we have just been out on both boards, taken out the the real board, which some of you would have seen on this channel before, and a brand new board that's just come to me in the last couple of weeks, which is the only one board. The only one board is the belt-driven motor board, and the real board has hub motors inside each of the rear wheels. The belt-driven boards allow you to kind of gear up using that belt, gear up the performance, so you actually can get better acceleration. Uh, on a belt driven board than you can on a hub motor board. But there are a number of, number of other differences as well. What did you think first of all? Which was your, which was your favorite? Definitely this one. Presumably that yeah. one, because it was faster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it makes a cool sound. <laughs> yeah, it so that really is, cool yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there is another difference, and actually, belt driven motors tend to be a lot louder than a hub motor. Hub motors are nicely sealed inside there. They tend to be relatively quiet, but you like the sound of it. It sounds futuristic. <laughs> yeah, I guess it sounds a little bit like, well, a little bit like a Formula E car. You know, you get that real high-pitched whine, and it is quite futuristic, isn't it? So that wouldn't put you off having one. Oh no, no. Um, you want it more. What about braking? Is that because uh, I've had one of these before where braking was really quite overly aggressive and almost to the point where I was locking the rear wheels. It wasn't as bad on this one. Well, I don't know about that one, but it wasn't too too bad. There was there was times where you kind of. Shudder, like there's probably there's probably a clip of it somewhere where it <laughs> Yeah. Because you can't like you can't ease into it that easily. But And you do have to be careful with that on if you're on loose ground, you know, if there's a bit of gravel or dirt or dust on the floor and you go for aggressive braking maneuver, you can you know, it can go into reverse almost or it can lock the rear wheels and then you're into a slide. So so that is something to watch out for. Um the hub motors, and this is a, a positive for the hub motors without giving them too much of a bashing, these things have some things going for them and that largely is that they are utterly maintenance free because it's all sealed inside this unit of the rear wheel, there's no maintenance. They are uh, dust proof, they're waterproof, most of them, um, everything's sealed away and, and it send, you know for that reason it tends to just work forever. Whereas these are a lot more exposed of course, the, the belt is quite obviously exposed and can get damaged, it can come off. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what you think, but when I've had these things in the past, I don't really want to get into taking them apart. I just want them to work. I just want them to, to go forever. You're spending 500 pounds, you don't want to have to <laughs> pay for more. No, exactly. You, you just want the thing to be picked up and, and work. So that, you know, that is a consideration that these things might need some looking after and a little bit more care than a hub motor board. Um, but having said that, you can readily get spares of the belts. They're easy to, to get. Uh, I've actually never changed one, but I'm sure they're pretty simple uh, to fit. I think it's just a case of popping the wheel off. The tool comes with the board. So relatively simple, but something to bear in mind, I guess. Um, in terms of price, both boards are very similar, uh, about around the $500 mark. Uh, and actually, both of these companies have given me a discount code. Uh, I'll link them both in the description of the video along with the discount code. So if you are interested in either of them, you can use the discount code that will be in the description and you'll get some money off. Mm. So that's worth thinking about. Um, yeah, controller is very, very similar. What did you think about the um, 
So they're on a thumb wheel, aren't mm. they? So yeah. you, you roll it forward for your throttle, you roll it back for, for braking. I did jog it a few times. So by accident, yeah. yeah. Which is scary. And the other thing is that I hit on this one the reverse button by mistake a couple of times. Why is there a reverse button on any skateboard ever? Good point. <laughs> What about in terms of the, the throttle application between the two? Because I know this one's got like a more powerful motor, but as you roll the, the wheel on, yeah. biggest difference between the two? This is a bit more jumpy, it's, but I find it more fun like that. That's just a bit, yeah, this is much more a cruising board. Yeah. I'd say this is this feels like you're on a mission when you're on it. Yeah, and I think that is part of the belt drive system that, as I said about, the gearing is different because you can step up from the small size of the motor output, you can then gear up through a belt to a, a bigger gearing on the wheel. So you can you can gear that for max massive acceleration, which this one is, or you can gear it for a maximum top speed if you'd rather go down that route. So I think you're right, when you, that initial boost, that initial launch, is pretty spectacular, isn't it, yeah. with this type of board? Uh, and actually, for that very reason, coming on to the other, the other reason I want, the other thing that I want from an electric skateboard, I want power, I want fun, <laughs> and that's ultimately what you want out of these, yeah. isn't it? So it would be easily be this over this for me, but yeah. And so the power, the acceleration, the fun, the stability outweighs the negatives of any maintenance, any noise. Yeah. Because mm. it's probably going to get a bit bashed up anyway. Yeah. So you're going to maintain it. With this, it's. It, I could see commuting on this more than that, but. Yeah. Okay. But this is a fun, more fun yeah. board. I think that's a that's a good point, and that's exactly how I would look at it. We're we're using these things because they are fun. We're not using them just simply to get to A to B. We're using it to get to A to from A to B in a fun way. <laughs> right. So you want you want fast. You want maneuverability, uh, and you want something that just works when you when you need when you need it to. Um, so okay. So I think we both agree that the belt drive system for me. I think is a better way to go. I've thought that for a while now, but I think doing the test back to back has kind of confirmed that. Um, the other thing is that uh, it is your birthday today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 17 years old. Yeah. Do you want it? <laughs> Do I want it? Yeah. You can have yes. it. Yes. Of course I want it. You can have it. Happy birthday. Feels like Christmas. What? Feels like my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There you go, mate. Look after it. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>